All right, so we have some good news to report for the LGBTQ community in Florida. And that is something I never thought I would be saying under this administration. So any, any good news. This good news is a settlement allows Florida teachers to say gay in the classroom, which makes me wonder what, what exactly happened. But both sides are claiming victory, so interesting. So, Florida and LGBTQ advocates on Monday settled a lawsuit over a state law on classroom instruction that grants teachers freedom to discuss sexual orientation and gender identity while also shielding the younger students from those topics. Both sides claimed victory. All right, let's see. Equality Florida, one of the rights groups that sued to stop the 2022 law, said it was celebrating the settlement as a landmark achievement, while the office of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis called it a major win against the activists. Okay, let's hopefully get to the meat of this. The Florida law that has been used as a model in other states and fueled the culture wars that are part of the country's larger political pol polarization, critics labeled the laws as don't say gay, which became common usage. While leaving the law in place, the settlement reached through the 11th Cir U.S. Circuit Court. Ah! 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals establishes guidelines to be used by state and local educators, freeing students and teachers to more openly discuss sex and gender topics and refer to gay and transgender people in the classroom. Okay, so what part of the law was upheld then? But it, oh, stupid ads. But it also bans instruction about sexual orientation or gender identity from kindergarten through the third grade, roughly for five to nine year olds. Okay, still not great, but hopefully, you know, the acceptance will bleed down to those grades. Because at least, I don't know how the elementary schools are in Florida, but when I was in elementary school, that was kindergarten through sixth grade. So it can easily bleed down. A statement from Governor's... Uh, a statement from Governor's statement... Oh, that made sense. Said opponents and the media had mischaracterized the law from the start, saying its main provision was always meant to keep radical gender and sexual ideology out of the classrooms. Yeah, um, I'm going to say no. You cannot say it was the law was misconstrued and then claim the law was misconstrued, that the, that we're, we're, the law said exactly what advocates said and it said it. What? <laughs> I, I dealt with this with the abortion clarification videos yesterday. I mean, pick pick one. Either it the law said what we claimed it did, or that it that it was misunderstood. It can't be both. The settlement requires that parents be notified about health care services and questionnaires to be offered at school and gives them a chance to decline, the governor's office said. Uh, you know, the only thing that concerns me about this is that parents can be just as dumb butt as these politicians and Basically, the child loses because if you happen to be a child of homophobic or transphobic parents, that's a problem. 
And so then, of course, they're going to want to opt the kid out. But at the same time, this should be something that the child does learn. But again, it can bleed down. So hopefully things won't be too horrible. I mean, the advocates are calling this a victory. So something good must have happened. But Equality Florida said the settlement dismantles the most harmful impacts of the law, ensuring it cannot be wielded as a tool of discrimination. Okay, again, then how is the law being kept in place? Somebody is misunderstanding the settlement here, and that confusion cannot be good. The settlement protects student clubs such as the Gay Straight Alliance, reinforces non-discrimination protections, and prevents the banning of library books related to classroom topics. Okay, so... I'm confused then what is being kept in place. Um, yeah, this idea of radical sexual and gender ideology, that still doesn't sit well with me. I mean, I guess they're giving LGBTQ activists the protections they want, but are just somehow throwing meat at their base saying, oh no, we're, we're, we're still against radical ideology. This just isn't it. I'm very, very confused. All right, uh, that is all I have for this article. So, that, I guess that means this is going to be a short video, but yeah, I'm very, very confused how this is going to play out in the classroom. Because the governor's office is claiming that you know, that they're still going to be protecting kids from dangerous ideology. But the LGBTQ activists are saying that there's going to be protections. I guess because they at least have kids down to fourth grade learning this stuff as opposed to, and that's why they're saying that it's a victory on both sides. I'm like I said I'm I'm a bit confused as to what the right wing thinks that they're accomplishing again unless they think that if they just tell their base that they're still protecting children against radical ideologies that they'll just believe it I I really don't know what's happening I'm feel bad for those who are in kindergarten through third grade who probably figured out already that they're different and they're not allowed to be told anything. May, but like I said, if they're in the same building as the older students, it'll trickle down. So because kids like to talk. So anyway, I'm rambling now. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video.